What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. It's December 12th. Uh, it's a Sunday. It's after 5 p.m. Uh, so we're already closed. We close at 2 o'clock on Sundays. Uh, but I want to talk about a little bit about some uh, week, weekly update or whatever you want to call it. Um, I like I like to think about every uh, single day uh, activity as what my goals are. Uh, but uh, since it's for the video, I uh, want to talk about rather we'll talk about what we do a little bit during the week. Uh, so it's gonna be hard, kind of hard to see, but underneath those racks, we have a bunch of 20-inch tires. And we had randoms um, in there and pairs, but all mixed in. So I don't even know what I had down there. Um, so what happens is you get so busy, you don't know when you're gonna be able to uh, get these pairs together. But as long as you have them, you're good, right? So has, we had some time and what we did is we bring them out, we lay them down and we start matching them together. And on the new rack, we started putting them together in pairs and we got uh, a lot of, uh, and even on top, but we got a lot of pairs. I, I, I didn't know I had so many, but it's a very good thing. Again, you're just con collecting those tires. You match them up and they're worth more when you have pairs and sets. Uh, but in this case of 20s, uh, wide stuff, it's gonna be usually just pairs that you're gonna be selling. Uh, for the rears and thinner ones in the front. So we have just multiple pairs. We got pair, pair, just an example. We got hit some here, 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 here. We got some up there, a set of four. And then we have, uh, we actually got like eight of the same up there. And then we got a set of another four, but that's the 18s. And we got multiple pairs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs on this rack. And we have another pair in the back. Oh no, we have a set of four actually. But we saw them as pairs and another set of four in the back. So, <clears throat> again, uh, I got them out from the bottom and I just started matching them up. I had so much room up there. So then I put them up there for the reason of uh, they're not going to be really touched by anybody because no one really wants to go up there, right? So then, but I know what's up there. And, um, you know, I let the guys know if we have a, a pair we're looking for or something. Uh, advantages is that sometimes people come looking for one, but you have two, you show them the two, and they buy the two instead, of, and you, so you sell an extra tire, right? Or a set of four, you sell them, uh, like instead of they want to buy two, you sell them on four, and they'll buy the four. So you're able to uh, sell more tires that way, more, more inventory moves that way. And we continue leaving the, the pairs, uh, well, singles. I think we're pretty much done with the, the pairing uh, from the, the bottom section. But uh, we, when we get more tires in, I will, we have a lot more room. You can't really see on this side, but there's a lot more room on this side. And um, there's some more room in the middle racks. So then now I, I can go buy more tires and fit more in. And we do the pairing again. And... Uh, when we have more time in the future, but we just pretty much buy them and we store them in the bottom and um, So that's how you make good money good profit when you have pairs and Even though more back racks I, I, I can show you the bag, but it's kind of too dark back there for the video But um, There's more and more 20 pairs um, So for today, we, we open on Sundays, we open on 9 and we close at 2. Uh, you know, when you have your own shop, you can choose your own hours. And I want to explain why I had those those hours for this shop. Um, when I was young, you know, you would go out a lot at night on Saturday nights. You get home late. And, you know, you want to continue to work the next day. But it, it's hard getting up in the morning. So what I did was I started opening at 9 on Sundays instead of 8 like every other weekday. And that gave me an extra hour to sleep. So um, so then, you know, you're able to get an extra hour of sleep. You, you're like, all right, well, I'm good in the night. I can continue doing my thing. And 
Next morning, you wake up a little bit later, but you're able to open on time every day. And we close at two because I wanted to be able to continue my Sundays long term. And it's been many, many years. I mean, it's been over 10 years. Uh, I had the same schedule that works great. Um, and it doesn't mess up with my life. Uh, so let's say after work, my plan was like, oh, let's go to the beach on, like on Sunday or something, right? You can, st well, daylight, you can still make it where I'm from. It's only like about 45 minute drive. So I was able to make, you know, the beaches during the day on a Sunday, just an example, uh, or whatever I wanted to do. So I was able to maintain opening Sundays without messing with my life or uh, or closing Sundays because that was too hard to do. So we only open five hours on Sundays and uh, it works very, very, very good. Even though now I don't even do those things no more. I don't say late no more. Like Saturdays I'm already older. I don't go to the beaches on Sunday, let's say. But um, it still helps me. Like last night, we, you know, family function. We go out, we got back late. I was able to wake up, you know, and uh, get to work at nine uh, on time. No problem. So even though now, many years later, it still works. The schedule still works for me. So uh, today, I mean, just on like every Sunday, we have so much very, uh, ton of activity. I mean, we saw like sets up for Goodyear, 265-70-17s. We sold the set of 225-40-18s. Uh, pairs, a brand new uh, 205-55-16 Goodyears. Um, used ones, we sold pairs. Uh, 255-35-18s. Um, I mean, I can't really remember what else tires we sold, a lot of labor, a lot of uh, this mountain mounting, um, patches, a lot of patches. Uh, we, I, made, I made an order also for uh, four new Pirellis, about a thousand bucks. And we get them in, customer comes in the next business day, we put them on. Um, we, I got in semi tires, I bought in I think they're like 11 tires, the semis, I bought those. I bought like 19 tires, or car tires. Um, so a lot of activity, you always wanna be moving activity uh, at the shop as much as you can. You buy a little here, you buy a little there, you sell some here, you, you do labor there. Um, five hours pass by, uh, you did really good for the day. And you go home and do you know, whatever you want, watch the Lakers, right? <laughs> and. Uh, and so uh, you're happy next day, same thing, get back to work. Uh, you know, if it becomes slower during the day, midday, right? You create some ads, some, some mar Facebook marketplace ads or offer up ads, put them to, to um, put that time to good use. And um, so, um, I, I kind of really can't show you in the back much because the lighting is really dark. But um, but I want to use some examples of, of how it was, uh, you know, when you're buying tires, like like a whole bunch for a cheaper price. And compared to if you were to pick them, uh, so what happens is that you have, let's say you, you, in, in a little shop, you, you, you just go to a shop and then they have tires and you pick them out. Let's, and let's say you have 30 of them you buy, right? Like cheap and compared to like if you were to go to a, a location and you pay probably more than double and you but you got some really good sizes right so what happens is you sell let's say the, the of the cheaper ones you sold the, the out of the 30 you sold let's say 10 right and then you have like 20 left so then you don't want to sell those 20 you don't want to throw away those 20 so what you do is you stack them in the bottom and then 
uh, as time goes by, you maybe saw here one there, some yeah, you saw there there, and compared to like the other the other uh, the ten the ten quality ones, you you stack the ten and those things sell like pretty fast because they're high quality, uh, good tread. Uh, a lot of people want them, let's say for like Camaros, Trans Ams, Corvettes, right? And so what happens is you start developing sections of tires that that's taking up room and you're not selling much so then you have like a section of tires that don't move much and then you have another section over here and then you start developing oh yeah you have a lot of tires yeah but the quality of the brand uh, i'm sorry not the brands of the sizes and the tread life is not that good uh so so then you're you're stuck with a situation of should i get rid of these tires and make some room for the good stuff or should i just keep them there i don't have to pay more money i don't have to do any movements and and just wait until they sell and uh it's up to you what you want to do in those situations but um i want to tell you what i did and what the results were so i did throw away the tires but by the way it wasn't me doing this whole buying in bulk and getting them cheap it was not me but you know they were there so then i started throwing those away as soon as i can i started i seen well, you know what can i do because you need more room right so with with when you don't have like big racks like these and uh or or you have a smaller shop that you don't have much room so you then need the point is i started throwing away the tires and then when i started buying i started buying quality tires right of course like the ones you pay for more and they're worth more and they they know they more people want them so now I got, let's say I got rid of this stack right here and I put the quality ones. And so now instead of like having a section that's not selling, it just there week after week, it's just like not moving and making money from the spot. I, I had tires that were good. And so I started making, making tire, making money on this section, started making money, started making money. Same goes for this one. I started filling, throwing these away and I started putting them in this section. So we got a section that's now it's, producing income producing income and so little 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 by little i started doing the old shop like that i started going around and uh i started going around and just making the sections from bad low quality to high quality to high very wanted tires and so you just start producing more, you just start, you start selling more, you start selling more because uh, you made room for the good stuff and you got rid of the bad stuff. And so uh, you, you know, you just start getting more, you get more packed, you get customers, you get, you know, a lot of times we have our, the whole parking lot packed with people, with cars. And good thing we have a lot of jacks, right? There's someone there, someone top. So we just, you know, we don't have to be taken down, wait, waiting for the jacks to uh, be um, ready. You just grab more jacks, start lifting more cars up, and you start getting more business. Uh, I mean, you start getting more business out, out of the shop faster. And um, so that's, uh, that's, one sec that's one way of creating uh, more room, because I know it's a big issue for shops of... Um, like we need more room, right, for tires, and I I, I understand. So then uh, that's why I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I want to talk a little bit about also about the the warranties about the new tires. So let's say a customer buys four new tires um, and one pops because he hits something really hard on the road. So then that customer comes back and he says, hey, I bought these tires and one's no good. And then you check it out, as you can tell it's big old damage from like a big old pothole, right? You can tell because you can tell and it's like, oh, it's, oh, this is effective compared to like, this guy hit something really hard and it broke. And they come back and say, hey, so what do you, what do you what's the warranty, right? So then, uh, the new tires, the warranty I give is this. I give free flat repairs for life 
and free rotations for life with the receipt they can give they can take a picture of the receipt they can make a copy of the receipt it's all good bring it back whenever you need a nail we patch it for free when you have a nail i mean patch it for free whenever you want to rotate your tires i recommend you know a lot of customers average cars honda civics or whatever seven thousand miles i recommend they rotate their tires the tires will last long them longer every seven thousand bring it we'll rotate it for free um so I give that as a shop, as our shop warranty, right? So, what about that hole that, you know, they broke it, they broke it on the road, and what do you do in those cases? So what I do is I, I tell them that, look, I can take off the tire for you, I can send it out to the manufacturer, and, you know, you can see what they say. Uh, they potentially, We'll give a little discount on the next tire, or uh, they they give a little money back. Uh, they could potentially give you another tire, uh, but what happens really most cases nothing. They don't do nothing. They just oh no, this is is no good because of that. Like it, it was the customer's job fault, you know. So they say, well, it's not our fault. I mean, they hit a pothole, right? and and as the shop owners, that's not my fault. They hit a pothole, right? So then. It's, it's, all, it's really on the customer, but they like, oh, they, they oh, I, well, I just got these like three months ago, right? So then what I do is this, I, I, I tell them, look, I can help you send the tire out, they send it out. It takes about a month to come back, uh, what they say. Uh, and, you know, you know I, I can do that for you, but, you know, like, as, as my warranty is free flat repairs and free rotations lifetime. So then, um, <clears throat> And yeah, I mean, once in a while they, that happens, not really much. I send it in and, you know, if you see these big, huge companies, what they have on their warranty sheets, they make you jump like through a huge hoop to be like super perfect so they can actually give warranty. So in reality, like, I don't know, over 95% of the cases or more, they're not gonna give you anything. And I explained to that, I mean, I've been through this my whole life. It's like, they don't give you nothing. And, uh, and uh, I mean, I can send it and you can see it, what, re what really happens. But in the meantime, do you want to buy another new one or do you want to buy a used one? Uh, a lot of times they just buy the used one, most cases. Some cases they still like, oh, come on, please, man. Like, so then like I give them a discount on the used one. Uh, and they're happy, uh, and very rare times they're still like mad or fighting you, whatever. Uh, I even just give them the, the used one, like, oh, here, you know. But, it, I mean, I lost a used tire, let's just say. It has nothing to do with what I did wrong. I installed it right and everything, right? But it's still not bad, you know, used tire, how much the used tire costs you, right? Like I was just saying, like, you know, it's not a bad thing, so... Um, <clears throat> I mean, it sucks how the companies are. The, they don't give you the warranty. Like, even if it was like a legit thing, like the they, tires all around, they you send them back and they say, oh, like there's nothing wrong with this, right? And I'm like, the other is a big old all around. It's shaking like crazy. The car is shaking like crazy. Uh, it's legit. It's a legit claim, but they don't give you nothing. And then they don't, the worst thing is they don't even give you the tires back. They just keep them, right? Yeah. <laughs> So then like, you can't even use it as like a burnout tire or nothing like you throw on my Camaro and burn that shit out, right? So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a bad, it's it just, you know, they just give you a warranty uh, like up front, always give you this many thousand miles and, and, and road hazard or whatever they want to say, but they really, they just don't do nothing about it and it sucks, but uh, I, I shouldn't be the one losing because of what they, uh, claim and they don't do nothing about it or if someone goes to take those tires and they go uh, in, the, in the canyons and then they bust it and they come back hey this happened you know like well it's not my problem right I mean you broke you want to buy another one or you want to get a used one you know and that's it but but once you talk to them like hey look at this what happened you talk to them right you explain to them look this is not a ball or out of round this is like you hit something and bro you can tell right here right 
and they know what they did. They know they're going hard on the tires. They know they hit a big pothole in the street. Yeah, I tell them, you know, a lot of times the cities, they, they'll pay for your tires, just make claim, and a lot of times they do. But, um, so that's how I, I deal with it. it. It's not a big issue for me. Again, I, I was just saying, like, out of, like, hundreds of customers, I don't really have that problem. Like, I get, like, one out of hundreds of customers, right? So then, um, yeah, you, you shouldn't really worry about that when it comes to uh, the new tire stuff. I mean, you know, it just it is what it is. I mean, customers are gonna come back and say, "Hey, this is no good," but they really messed it up, and you tell them, "Hey, well, you know, you messed it up pretty much, you know." And then you give them a discount on it. You know, as long as they got, they're back on their own, they're they're pretty much happy. They get a little discount. They know they're probably not gonna get nothing in the first place. They just want to complain. Hopefully, I get something, and if they do, they do. They don't, they don't. But they, they, or they buy another new one, right? They all want the same one. So, all right, cool. We'll put another one on, and it's gonna be this much, same full price. Uh, most of the time, because they know what happened, I just, you know, time is full price, and all right, cool, yeah, sounds good. Let's just do it. I don't care. I'm good, or whatever. At the end, they're all, all right, cool, yeah, it's, it's all good, right? So that that that's the the situation with the the new tire. Uh, Warranties in real life, um, yeah. So, just w pretty much whatever you work out with the customer, you know, it's no right or wrong thing. It's not like everybody in the world's gonna see this. It's just like be between you and the customer, uh, you know. However, it's handled and it's, it's all good, right? All right. So yeah. So pretty much, um, a lot of uh, continue to stock on, on my shop. I continue to buy tires. Uh, you know, it's. It's still, you know, you know, a lot, more, a lot of people, a lot of shops, I, I see that they don't buy tires at the end of the year because they want money for the presents and all that stuff. Uh, I, I really don't care about that. Like, as in like, I need money for this and that. I, I'm, I'm good with that part. So I just, all year long, I mean, I treat every month the same. I, if I need the tires, I want to buy them. And, and, um, and I just continue to, um, to put them in their spots, and I again, it's, it's so much work to like buy like tires to like fill your shop. It's a continual effort. You got to keep doing it and doing it, especially when you're like organizing really good and it makes more room. And you have more room for tires. It, it's like you just continue to like fill the racks and you make more room. And you continue to buy, but it, the reason it's more work, it's a lot of work, is because you don't want to buy junk. You don't want to buy some bad sizes. You rather like take your time and get some good sizes, but you don't want to take too much time now. It, it, oh, you just take, like every week you buy a tire, like or a, a set of tires. Now you gotta be like, like kind of like every day on the grind. Like, okay, I need this. I, I know I'm missing this. I gotta look for this. Um, mainly on the used. Um, that uh, the new is like I will look for deals. I look for good deals. Um, you know, I know what they're worth. If I find them for less, a good amount less, you know, I'll buy them, I'll buy them. But for the used ones, uh, uh, um, it's the sizes, you know, I need these sizes, I need to get those, I need to look for them. Uh, a lot of times they're not. Uh, so you gotta wait till like next week, right, or, or two weeks. So it's a lot of work, I mean, getting in tires, it might seem, oh, I just buy a container full of used tires, right? Yeah, but you get a bunch of the same tires and you don't even need that those sizes and then when you mess up like that, you have a whole bunch of like uh, same tires that just don't sell. It's gonna take a lot. They will sell, but it's gonna take probably years because it's like a whole bunch of like repeated sizes. Uh, I, I want to say if if you are really low on tires, let, let's say you're buying a, uh, I'm sorry, if you're starting a shop from scratch, it would be a good idea to just buy a container full of tires because you don't have anything. So like. Anything would be good, right? And uh, in the container tires, like, we, you know, you get them from China or whatever it is, you get a whole bunch, like, let's say you get like 20 sizes, you get a whole bunch of the same ones, and you have a lot of room, so now you start stacking those in, and then you start uh, buying new uh, certain sizes, and you start buying used certain sizes. I think that's a good idea. If you're, if you're starting a shop, you got one container coming, or two containers coming, it depends on what size the shop is. So I think that's a good idea because you need to fill a lot of tires in fast, right? And you don't have anything, so just like anything will do kind of stuff. 
But if you have a, a running shower, especially a, a, a many years, uh, or let's say even a year, uh, you want to be picky with your tires. You do really want to be picky. You don't want to get even like uh, a brand that like you just you know is a junk tire. I mean, I want to say like something like a Black Lion. You know those evergreens and something. Those those tires and they don't last long. They just you know uh, I'll just throw those num num names out. You know, they, they ain't gonna those. I can throw more names out too. Those those uh, what are the, uh, Futur brand tires. Those horrible quality. So that you don't want to waste your money on that. And customers come back. Hey, this shit didn't last. You rather just go for like more dependable. Let's say like an Iron Man, you can pay more, but you're gonna have a. Uh, a better quality tire that the customer's gonna be, you know, happy about, you know? Because the thing is you have a reputation to maintain or or, ma or build, and you start signing all these junk tires, you, you know, you're gonna have a rep of, oh, this is just like a little cheapy tire shop. But, you know, you ain't gonna get like big, you know, big profits if you're known as a little cheapy tire shop. You know, you're gonna be getting good profits when you're known as like, that's your brand, right? Like that, hey, those guys do really good work. I, I recommend them to everybody, man. They make my life easier. They're fast. Uh, they have, you know, a lot of good tires in stock. Uh, you want to get that rip station. So then you guys just got to watch out what brands you get. And um, so, yeah, you, you can try them out and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, uh, the brands that make a ton of sizes and they're like always available uh, and even on a little bit of wider side tires or on the lower profile size tires that same brand those that brand is gonna be a good brand just an example like a Delinte brand they make a ton of sizes uh, the quality it, it, it holds up I mean I sold Delintes like many many years so they started coming into this country having signed those things. Uh, nowadays, less because uh, um, uh, you, you know how there's this whole tire shortage and the inflation. Well, they went up a lot in price and you're almost at the price of like an American brand. So I, if you put five, five, 10 bucks more, I sell the customer on an American brand and the, the American brand is gonna be like, you know, double the, double the, the quality of that, you know, the Linte brand uh, a lot of the time. So um, they, they just hold better. The, the, the rubber, the quality mixture, it just, they just last longer. So for five, 10 bucks more, I just go for the better quality tires. So then that's all the reason I saw less uh, the Linte brand, let's just say, or, or let's say even Ironman brand. But for many years when the, 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 the gap was huge, uh, it was no match. It was just a whole bunch of Delinte and Iron Man brands. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to have a good rep. And you'll see a lot of people even nowadays, like, well, where I'm from here in SoCal, a lot of people do have money to buy good stuff. They, they don't have to, like, um, you know, oh, man, I, I'm, this area is only for, like, the, the Chinese tires, right? Nah, a lot of this right here, we got Needle, I saw a lot of Needle, a ton of Goodyear, I saw a ton of uh, um, Falcons, right? Uh, sometimes, once in a while, you know, you got the Bridgestones, people want the high quality Bridgestones, um, the high quality Pirellis, but for the most part, uh, if you explain to them, like, this tire is going to cost you this much, and this tire is going to cost you this much. You might as well just go over this one. And they understand. So they go for the better quality tires. So then, uh, that, that, you know, you're able to sell them, but they're able to have a better tire. They last longer, uh, which is a good thing. I know some guys think, well, if they're going to last longer on these tires. They're not going to have a lot of business because you sold them a good tire. But actually, it's backwards. Like if you have, a, you saw them a very good quality tire to them, they're gonna last longer. They're gonna be even happier, and they're gonna come back with other cars, more business. They're gonna for more people. Uh, that and, and which brings, by the way, a lot of people like them. 
like a lot of like that quality person of oh they have, they have a Porsche, they have a BMW, they have Mercedes, you know those, they're gonna have more of those people, and and uh, or in my case, I saw a lot of the Camaro community, Camaros, Trans Ams, Mustangs, Corvettes, they just keep referring me to those type of people, and they get more and most of cars in. I had a Viper in today, I had a ZL1 Camaro in today. Um, it just they just keep coming in because I well back then I would shoot for those customers though I would shoot a lot like I was I would buy those white tires and um, and I would want those customers in I'll get the used ones I'll sell them the used ones I'll sell them the new ones used ones and they'll bring in more people and more people and and you have a lot of those kind of customers but depends what kind of customer you're you're focused on nowadays I'm focused on uh, a lot of the just the easy uh, hanging fruit, you know, the 215, 60, 16, the 205-55s, those are your Toyota Corollas, Camrys, all those things, there's just some millions of those cars around here. Uh, ton and ton, so I, I, I just, focus, I get a ton of those tires, and then I, I just stock up on them, and I get a whole bunch of customers just coming in, coming in for those tires. Uh, just a basic regular car, there's just massive amount of business in that, and that's what I've been focused on a lot. Uh, before I used to focus a ton on the off-road four-wheel four, four -wheel drive cars, those uh, lifted trucks, 37s, and uh, yes, there's more profit in those. But nowadays, uh, I think because they cost so much, uh, they they sell that you sell sell less of those tires now. Uh, and before, like you know, pre 2007. When people had all kinds of crazy money, uh, man, it, it was, man, it was like all day every day with those truck tires. Offer up every single day, I get like an off-road truck coming in, uh, military tires. But now, I don't know for some reason, I don't think that it, the economy is as strong as it was before. Even though we're like at a strong economy, they say and real estate prices are really high. I don't really see that with the car community when it comes to the, especially the lifted trucks. So then uh, you only get a few guys here and there. So I, I, I don't really focus. I, by the way, I do have a lot of those truck tires still, those off-road stuff, um, but not as much as before and not as much as customers as before. So then uh, I, I just go with what the flow is, what people are asking for, what, what uh that was off road sign <laughs> uh so, sound but i go with the flow so then if you get a lot of those you know a, a lot of dealer guys a lot of guys that have dealers and they come to me and they want four good tires they match you know they'll pay you and and yeah they cry they, all those guys cry they cry cry but they do pay you and they have to get them so it's kind of like they come in they cry they complain to you but they're still gonna buy them, and they're still gonna come back because they need them. Because, uh, well, because they're gonna have some service sizes that they can't find nowhere. If you have them, they're gonna come back definitely. Like even though they don't like you, because let's say the prices are too high compared to like to like an inexpensive tire shop, uh, they're still gonna come back and they're gonna bring even more cars to you and over and over and over. Uh, it doesn't mean you're gonna have sell them cheaper to them. I still sell it to the same price because. It's the same amount of work. It's the same tires that you need, that they need. So, you know, they can come buy these at a regular price or not get anything at all and they're stuck with buying new. In the case, well, a lot of guys saw, uh, used to buy tires for used tires. Used tires, they buy them for their cars or used car sales. They, so they buy used tires. But they want no problems. And I, they guess what? That's what we have. Good stuff you're not gonna have any problems with, right? So, those, those guys, They'll just come and and be mad at you, but they'll buy, right? So that's that's the story with them. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, I'll, I'll wrap it up. Uh, I'm gonna go watch my Lakers in a bit. Um, maybe answer some offer up ads. Maybe put up some offer up ads and uh, eat and call it a night. So have a good one, guy. Good night, guys, and see you next time.